Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk about the delete operation. So this is also another DML statement. So far, we have learned about insert operation, update operation, absurd operation. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the delete operation. Delete operation is used to delete the existing records. So now let's say we have a business requirement from our chemical supplier company where whatever the records that we created in the earlier tutorial, which started with the letter test, we're going to go ahead and delete those records. So let's say this is the requirement. So all the records who start, which start with the name test, we're going to go ahead and delete those customer records. How are we going to go ahead and do it? So first of all, let's see what are the records we have right now. So if you go to the customer object, you will see we have about 12 records can see that we have about 10 and then these two test ABC etc so these are the 10 records and plus two 12 records we have and out of those 12 records the 11 records start with the letter test and there's only this one record the pick which does not start with the letter test so what we are requirement is we will get rid of all these records so once we get rid of these records what goes where does these records get stored they get into the recycle bin and they store stay there in the recycle bin and it's only for about 15 days. So it's, uh, they're stored in the recycle bin. And uh, we're going to go ahead and delete these 11 records now. So how, what we're going to do, we're going to go back here to our developer console. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open the execute anonymous window. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first thing is we're going to fetch all the records which start with the let all the customer records which start with the letter test. Fetch all the So this is the first thing we're going to do. And then we're going to go ahead and delete those records. So our query is going to be select the ID from the Apex customer records where the name of the customer starts with the or name is like test okay so where the customer name is like test so this is what we want to do so this is the wildcard we're going to use and so anything which has test one test two test three etc so whichever which starts with the letter test, it's going to go ahead and fetch all those records. So what it is going to fetch, it's going to fetch all the 11 records. And where we are going to store those records, we are going to go ahead and store them in a list of customers. So we're going to go ahead and create this variable, which is a list of the customer records. And the name of the list is customer list to delete. So this is the list of the customers that we want to delete. So the query is select the ID from this particular table where the name of the customer is like test. So it starts with the letter test. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete all those records. So whatever the list is, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then I'm going to go ahead and display how many elements or how many records are deleted. So I'm going to say if everything goes smooth and there's no exception, then so what, how many records got deleted? We're going to get, we'll get the size. So this is the records that will be deleted. So let's say if there are 11 records that we need to delete, it'll display 11. So let's go through this program one more time. So first thing is we are fetching all the records which starts with the name test, and then we are deleting those records. And then what we are displaying, we're displaying the message saying success. And it will tell you how many elements were those, uh, how many records got deleted. So it will give you the size and it will say records has been deleted. So let's go ahead and execute this. But before that, the recycle bin, if you go to, it's, it has three invoice records because I've deleted those. But it does nothing with the, let's go ahead and empty your recycle bin. So right now we have no records, nothing in the recycle bin. But the recycle bin is completely empty. So now we have about 12 records in our customer's object. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and execute this program. We're going to say execute. Go to the debug only. 
the message says success 11 records has been deleted so it has deleted all the 11 records whose name which are starting with the letter test so now if you go back to your customers and refresh this you will see only one name is there which is Deepika and the rest of them have been deleted and if you go to the recycle bin you will see that all those records that have been deleted they are in the recycle bin so for how long it will going to stay in the recycle bin? In the recycle bin, it stays for 15 days. And if you have not done anything with those records, automatically Salesforce is going to delete them from here permanently. So they stay here for 15 days. So let's say if you wanted to go ahead and undelete it, let's say I wanted to go ahead and move those records back to the customers, how I'm going to do that? We're going to go ahead and see it in the next tutorial. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.